Hello, this is Drew Slocum with InspectPoint, here to go over a few key visual inspection tips for a kitchen suppression system. The monthly visual inspection is usually done by the owner or the kitchen manager. Occasionally it might be done by an authorized distributor, but more the authorized distributor or kitchen suppression specialist is called in on a semi-annual basis or on any activation of the system. So on the, monthly, on the monthly visual, we're looking at proper placement of the hazard to make sure all oh, we have full nozzle coverage over the hazard. We have all the nozzles in place pointed directly at the hazard with blow off caps on there. We also want to look up in the duct to make sure there's not too much buildup of grease and dirt and anything else that can get up there. You might want to check up in the plenum real quick or up in the up in the airway to make sure that there is a nozzle up there it's got a blow-off cap on there we also have a few links up there that does activate the system in a fire you want to make sure those are are on and ready to go coming up over here to the suppression system we have our open gas valve down here the shutoff valve gas valve or electric valve uh, looking at the suppression system here it is green in the fully cocked position Coming over to our manual actuator, everything looks good here, it's not damaged or anything. And we also have a tamper device in there, so if somebody wants to mess with the system, pull the system, we'll know if it has gone off. So everything looks good here. At the end of that monthly visual, we're just going to check out our tag, make sure the authorized distributor or authorized service technician for the equipment and the local jurisdiction that you're in has tagged it in a semi-annual basis. At that point, we're good to go, and we can get back cooking. Thank you.